So let's love the game now from SeatGeek Stadium. Chicago Red Stars hosting Angel City FC. Angel City on the road wearing gray and Chicago in black. Yuki Nagasato let that ball go through. A chance for the follow-up. It was Kerry Ricaro coming through with the shot attempt. And even though there aren't many games left in this season, it's still about finding that consistency, building into next year. And we see Kruger. Is it across? Just enough of a touch to not allow Nagasato his shot. Let's see why she's so dangerous at. St. George is wide open. That's where the ball goes for Chicago. Gets it across, headed and out of bounds. Adichich got a hand to it. Vince, great positioning from Hawken to be able to open up this game. And then good little nifty ball in through traffic from St. George to try to find the head of Stevens. She puts herself on the line just to get in front of Nielsen. Big time save from Harichich. Another one played short. Now the service into the box. Headed down, saved by Nair, put back away. Allie Riley with the follow-up to give Angel City the lead. So the initial call Excuse me, was Henri. offside. And Angel City celebrating. That goal will count for Allie Riley. First goal of the season. And now she can allow that smile to fully cover her face, and she knows it counts. Well, it's smart to, to draw out the attention initially off the short corner. They got runners into the box. Henri continues hers on, finds herself wide open. Look at the save from Nair. Chicago hawking, ball at her toes. Lays it off to the right. St. George forces the save. Headed back toward the goal, but eventually out of bounds. How will this new attacking group fare for the Red Stars? Making something happen here. Ball in the box. A shot. And a goal! Ava Cook does it again against Angel City. Defensively. Starts with Casey Kruger, a big ball in, and then they get numbers running off of it, and they make it difficult for Angel City. And then look at the direct play. Through traffic, Ava Cook gets her head up, gets the ball from out from underneath her feet. Just a little window between Vignola and Gordon, and what a finish that is. Just runs. Thompson and Emsley both went to the same space. It'll be Emsley who will get it and serve it again. Yes! And no! Answers back for Angel City. Allie Riley once again getting in to more advanced positions. It frees up Imsley. She goes 1v1, which we've seen her do all game long. But look at that ball. Instead of just floating it in, feathers it, little bit of bend along the line, and then Indo. Timing her run, doesn't get in too early, draws the attention of Malazzo, but gets on the wrong side of her. And all she has to do is redirect it past Nayer. Group has given some life off the bench to Chicago. Shayna Matthews still on it in the box. Matthews! <laughs> the scoring has opened up in Chicago. To win this ball and then the effort from Shayna Matthews just to get on the wrong side of Vignola. Uses her body right there, just steps in front of her, gets herself a little bit of space then to be able to draw the attention of Harry Cheech, who had come off her line, thought maybe she was gonna go to the far post, and then cuts it across in the last second. Terrific finish. And I think that's what's so tough in this league and why it's so competitive, because if you don't finish some of those chances or at least give yourself a bit of a buffer in terms of the lead. Maybe a chance here. Thompson in the box, across, open shot, and it goes right to Alyssa Nair. Thompson really set that one up on a platter for Hammond last time around. I'm trying to work her way around Kruger. Is it enough? Nope. 
We are going to settle for 2-2 in this one. What a match between these two teams tonight.